What's going on guys, Blazing here, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a wonderful day, and guys, I am so excited to show you this build. I have done so much testing, I have put so much energy into finding a build that you can use for your Artak to make sure that you can do Dragon, to make sure that you can do Ice Golem, to make sure that you can do Spider. This build is going to make it so you can actually obtain every fusion. If you can build him this way, if you can do it properly, you will have no reason to be able not to do every single fusion as easily as possible, right? You're gonna be able to level food with every single dungeon. Let's get into it. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Now, we're gonna start off with Spider first. We're gonna go up against stage 20. If you're just farming dungeons, for the fusion stage 20 is the most beneficial dungeon diver same thing right we did bring in a spirit host you can farm i believe there's another champion that you can farm through the campaign that has the same type of speed aura but if you're farming food why not use a speed aura why not use an hp aura if you need it right our tech doesn't have anything so if it's just food throw it in there give yourself that little extra boost not that it's needed but why not right so I don't have any presets set on this, right? I didn't want to do a preset video. Just let it go, set it up. That way, if you did use RSL Helper, you could still use this, no problem. Uh, the run takes roughly about a minute, minute 15, I think is the longest it's taken me. But again, if you're just farming Dungeon Diver Points and Spider, it works fine, right? You don't need to go out there and be farming it in 10, 12, 13 seconds. It's for a fusion. This is just to make it so that you can obtain every fusion going forward. I guess the only issue you will have is the shards, right? And there's not much I can do about that, but I am happy that this build works. There is currently a bug still with Artek. It's just a visual bug that shows his HP and it's just in Spider apparently. Uh, Plurin hasn't fixed it. They did fix his passive, but they have not fixed that but he is nice and healthy. You can see here we did a minute six, right? Now we're gonna jump out of here and we're going to go into Dragon. Now Dragon was one of the ones that was actually my biggest concern because again, we're still gonna do the same food, but it was my biggest concern because you need to have Brimstone on him. If you don't have Brimstone, you're gonna have to put in some sort of poisoner, right? Like a Venomage if you have her, or you're gonna have to put in like a Mithrala and they'll two man it, no problem, and you can still get the food done. Um, if you do manage to get a one star brimstone, that's all you really need. As long as you can follow the speed on this, he is going to go at a four to one and he's going to be able to make sure that brimstone is always on the dragon and it's going to help out tremendously. Uh, the decrease attack is going to be huge, especially on this boss and in Ice Golem because you can get hurt right um i mean he look at him he's really nice and healthy i really don't know what polarium was thinking when they said hey let's give this guy out for free let's give our tech out to everybody in the community i mean <laughs> they've done some dumb things and we 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 know but um you know they they put this out here and now he's with these types of builds you're going to be able to just have no reason not to be able to farm the uh the fusions you know it's just it, it will take a little bit of time trying to get the gear and you are going to have to focus your time in some places but once you get it i mean i am going to try to do a couple of more other uh builds to see if they're going to work and maybe a little bit less of the gear but these the, with this build it has been consistent 100 percent of the time you can see here a minute 38 right now let's go into ice golem Ice Golem is actually, we're actually going to farm stage 21. You don't want to go up against stage 20, and that's because of the Terabees. He hits so damn hard that he can go through everything except the Terabees will kill him. It's just, it, he will kill himself. So you don't want to go against, uh, you know, Spirit Affinity. You want to go either against Magic um, or Void on Ice Golem. It does take a little bit longer, right? Um, but it, it definitely does help. Now, the only issue with this boss and Brimstone is that if Brimstone procs at the wrong time and Frigid Vengeance comes out, 
if your HP is too low, um, and if you're not, you know, if you're not using a regen set like we currently are, you could be one shot, right? Um, so it, it literally, to be able to do this, you need to make sure that you are using this build, unfortunately. But being able to solo it, being able to bring in those four food jams, I can't tell you guys, I mean, literally every fusion I do, I've always used my Bad Alcazard. And up until now, I literally, I stripped all the gear off my Bad Alcazard and I love Battle Kazard so much. Um, you know, my main account's got a, a one and my uh, alt account's got a plus two. I love him, I love him, but I had to switch him because Artek is just that powerful, guys. He is that good. You really don't wanna miss not using him. Uh, and I feel bad for anybody that's going to come after this is over and not get him because, I mean, he is, <laughs> I, I was skeptical of saying that he's better than Ninja, but he is. Um, he is. I felt like he is just too too good to miss. You can see here we're just going to be shy of two minutes. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Nice and healthy. Just shy of two minutes. So let me go through. Let me show you the build on my Artek. Let me show you exactly what you need to have, right? So we do have him in a regen. Uh, in a speed set right we we are if you have any refresh accessories and can fit them into the build i would really do so or counter attack accessories because it's going to help him keep up that hp burn but we do have the regen and the speed set his hp is 84k hp 3k defense right defense could be a little bit higher um but with this passive it kind of makes up for it you really just want to focus on the hp more right as long as you get about three to 3200 defense everything else should be thrown into hp or speed speed is at 261 again if you're using like a spirit host or something like that you know i would still try to get to like the 250 mark 260 mark because that's where once his passive kicks in and all his masteries and everything that's when he'll be able to go to the four to one ratio against any of the bosses 37 percent crit rate 116 crit damage i would definitely love to bring the crit damage down right uh, just because if I tried to go against those Terabees on stage 20, I don't want to be nuking myself. Uh, 348 resistance, 402 accuracy. The resistance is a little bit overkill, but uh, I am trying to see if I can get him to solo some of the harder stages. Uh, and so I do want to have that extra resist. Now, skill-wise, again, we did book him. We have CBC going on. So he was definitely uh, worth an investment after, you know, taking about a week or so to think about it. I, I decided that the 15 bucks were definitely worth it for him uh, and that I, I, I didn't want to make the investment. We did get a one-star brimstone out of the shop. Now for Masteries, we did go down to War Master. You don't have to, right? It does help the runs speed up a little bit. Can it hurt you in some instances? Yes. Um, with Dragon, I think it's kind of a must to try to get as many War Master procs as possible to make it as safe as possible. With the other two dungeons, not really. Um, you don't really want, you know, War Master going off on the Ice Golem. Uh, the support tree is what we went. We did go down to Spirit Haste. We did take Cycle of Magic. And we did take Master Hexer, Laura Steel. And we took the extra HP because we didn't need the accuracy. Now, I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I really, really love him. Uh, I, I honestly think he's better than Ninja at this point. Uh, I'm going to just use him. I mean, stage 20, 21s, he's farming them in under two minutes. If you're using your 50 multi-battles or 30 multi-battles, whatever you have, um, he's definitely worth it. So if I can find a build that he solos the Fire Knight with, I will let you guys know at this point in time, I can't find anything. But if you have your Artak, you build him like this, you will never have any issues doing another fusion again. You'll be able to level food champs no matter what. And we all know that leveling food and farming gear at the same time in dungeons is what is most energy efficient. As always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.